The Harley-Davidson twin cam engines are motorcycle engines made by Harley-Davidson since 1998. Although these engines differed significantly from the Evolution engine, which in turn was derived from the series of single cam shaft, overhead valve motors that were first released in 1936, they share a number of characteristics with nearly all previous Harley-Davidson engines. Both engines have two cylinders in a V-twin configuration at 45 a degree, are air-cooled, and activate valves with push rods. The crankshafts have a single pin with a knife and fork arrangement for the connecting rods. These are sandwiched between a pair of flywheels. The twin cam 88 was released for the 1999 model year in September 1998. The twin cam 96 was released for the 2007 model year. 88B and 96B engines. The twin cam initially was not used in the Softail model family before the year 2000. This was due to the chassis design and vibration transfer to the Softail frame as a result of the direct mounting of the engine. Dyna models are rubber mounted, damping the majority of vibration transfer to the frame and rider. Another reason was that the engine and transmission on a twin cam are directly bolted to each other, with the chassis seat post on a soft tail getting in the way of a twin cam transmission case. As the company determined that a rubber mounted soft tail would affect the line's visual styling, Harley solved the issue by designing an engine variant known as Twin Cam 88B. It is basically the same engine as the original, but with a modified engine block design that incorporates twin chain driven balance shafts. The Twin Cam 96B engine was released at the same time as the Twin Cam 96A model, for the 2007 model year, and was equipped on all soft tail models until it was replaced by the 103 Psi version. It is possible, however, to mount a regular Twin Cam motor to a pre-2000 soft tail, through third-party adapters. Differences from predecessor the engine design differed considerably from its predecessor the Evo although it shared some design elements with the Sportster line. The 88 represents the displacement in cubic inches of the standard engine. The bore is 95.3 mm and the stroke is 101.6 mm, meaning the displacement is 88 cubic inches. The twin cam 96 displaces 96.7 cubic inches. The company released 103 cubic inches for 2012 Softail models and 110 cubic inches for Screaming Eagle CVO models. Development Development of the twin cam started in the early 1990s, as Harley sought to address issues affecting the previous Evolution engine, particularly structural weaknesses within the crankcase, oil circulation and leakages. While aftermarket firms such as S&S Cycle previously responded with stronger crankcase components for high-performance evolutions, Harley went for a significant redesign, keeping the engine fundamentally and aesthetically similar to the 45-degree, air-cooled overhead valve concept Harley has used since it introduced the V-twin to its lineup. The twin cam only shared 18 parts with its predecessor, as almost all of the components were unique to the engine. As the name implies, the engine uses two chain-driven cams, to comply with EPA noise regulations. The drivetrain was reinforced through a mounting scheme called the revised rear interface, allowing the transmission case to be mounted directly to the rear of the engine, with the primary drive and clutch covers playing less of a structural role. This was also partly the reason for Softail's not initially receiving a twin cam for the 1999 model year. The early prototype twin cam engines had considerable trouble with the oiling system. These problems delayed release of the engine as scheduled for the 1997 model year. When the engines were run, oil came out any gasket had joined as well as the breather. Harley sought the help of Paul Troxler, a young engineer from Southwest Research Institute and eventually the problem was traced to a design which drained the cam case into the crankcase, and used a single scavenge pump. Due to airflow through ports in the crankcase wall, the cam case was not draining properly. After much testing, the solution was to seal the cam case from the crankcase and use a dual scavenge system, which was incorporated into the engine, rather than as an outboard pump as used on older Big Twin since the original knuckle head. However, oil was still not scavenging properly from the crankcase, and this was traced to an acoustic phenomenon due to the caliber of the scavenge inlet. Restricting the diameter of the inlet, 
A counterintuitive solution, solved that problem. Notes and references. External links, detailed Harley Twin Cam Engine Animations.